Hi, I'm Thomas with Believe in the Run, and today our dreams come true, our wishes are answered. We are talking about the Clifton One 2018. It is the exact same shoe as the Clifton One. Really excited about that. When I put it back on for the first time, it was like stepping into an old relationship with that friend that you know and you pick up right where you left off. Conversation is good, the jokes are still funny, the inside jokes are still there. I guess the shoe doesn't have that much personality. But when I put it on and I went for my first run, it felt like, oh my, I know who you are, I'm back. This is great, this is awesome. And if you don't know, this is one of my favorite shoes of all time, and it's one of Meg's favorite shoes of all time. And what makes it so special? It's light, it's cushioned, it's stable, the toe box is nice, it didn't get narrow. We could go back through our old reviews. The Hoka Clifton and I go way back. We've been reviewing the Clifton since its original debut. We loved that shoe. Super cush, super light. It had a bounce to it. And then each iteration, it's changed a little bit and become more mainstream. The Hoka Clifton 5 isn't that much different than the Hoka Clifton 4. It's not the same shoe, so I had to stop lamenting the fact that it wasn't the Clifton 1 or the Clifton 2. We could go back through our old reviews and we could talk about with each iteration what went wrong with the Clifton to get it to now where we're at the Clifton 5. And I'm sure some of you like the Clifton 5. If you do, I don't know what's wrong with you. but. The Clifton one is the jam. To me, this feels more like the Vaporfly than the Zoomfly Flyknit. It's got a cushioned response, that rocker sole that rolls through your stride. So let's take a look at it real quick. What I've got here for you, special treat, is my original 2014 Clifton one. This is it, this is the jam. I think I maxed this shoe out. I think it's cooked. And so to have this guy back and look exactly the same, look at it. Look at those overlays. Look at every detail is exactly the same. These laces are the original laces and they're identical to these laces. So when I say Clifton actually put out the Clifton one, they didn't tweak it, they didn't do anything to it, they left it alone and this is a fantastic thing. More shoe companies should do this. There's some of those gem shoes that were perfect and then you went and you updated them and messed around with them but this guy is a great shoe. Belongs in like the shoe hall of fame. If you think about the time when this shoe came out, you were looking at the minimalist movement where people were telling you to run barefoot and running in Vibram Five Fingers and Merrill Gloves and all those shoes. This shoe came along and you were like, what is this? It's some sort of moon boot. It looks ridiculous. I'm never gonna wear this. I put it on, I went for a run and I was like, I don't know, it looks pretty sexy now because it totally changed my mind. It's an incredible shoe, great feel. Launched a whole movement. There's all these other shoes now out that are trying to capture the magic of the Clifton One. Now what's it got? It's got a five millimeter drop. So basically you're on this nice cushioned platform. It's pretty high stack, but because of the bottom, it's stable. It's pretty wide. And you can see it's got some high abrasion rubber here and here where you're gonna need it. On this shoe you can tell after a bunch of miles, I kind of wore it off on the lateral edge, but it doesn't really affect the shoe. There's so much cushion there that you're not really doing that much damage wearing that down. For my size 10 and a half, it weighed 8.25 ounces or, or 235 grams, which is really light for this much cushioning. So you're getting this bounce, this responsive feel off the shoe, the rocker sole that rolls through your stride. All that cushioning for less than nine ounces, shoes a gem. Now I did weigh it against the original one and it is a slightly heavier, I'm talking like minuscule amount. I think that's because I've worn down the rubber on this shoe and this one still has all its rubber so that little bit of difference might just be the rubber that's on the shoe. I mean I'm telling you I looked the shoe up and down, it is identical. So if you missed out on the Clifton one and you didn't get the Clifton one to start, I beg you try the shoe, you will love it. This one falls in line with shoes like the Streak 6 which I think is a nearly perfect shoe. I think the Elite 9 was a good shoe, you need to size up so it's not perfect but it's a really good shoe. Vaporfly, there's a couple Kambaras in there that were perfect shoes. So this really falls into a unique area where there's a shoe that they designed, it works, and it operates almost perfect for what you need. We'll put a link if you wanna shop for it online in the description. Check it out, the Hoka Clifton one, or really, the Hoka Clifton, because before this, there was nothing. Great shoe. And don't forget, you wanna see more shoe reviews, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. You won't be disappointed. Lots of shoe pictures. It's like falling back with an old lover. That's kind of creepy. But did I sell it enough? You're going to go get it? You should. That's about it on that one.